Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I'm gonna do something a little different. Every once in a while, I like to rip back the curtain and kind of show you the behind the scenes, maybe something that I purchase or something I have going on with myself and the channel. And today is gonna be no different. I just recently purchased a GoPro Hero 9 Black. Now, I get a lot of questions sometimes, email messages, where people are asking me, what kind of a camera equipment do I use? What kind of software do I use? You know, what, have I tried this or have I tried that when it comes to some of the equipment? So one of the things that I want to go over with you today is looking at the GoPro Hero 9 Black, comparing it to what I currently use. I currently use the 8 and the 5. So we're going to switch off over here and I'm going to kind of just unbox it and walk you through it. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And keep an eye out because I also purchased the Medium Mod and I purchased their subscription. And that's kind of the deal. The way I bought this bundle package was through GoPro.com. And if that's something you're interested in or on the fence about, well, I have another video coming out to see if it is actually worth it to you. All right. So here is the new GoPro Hero 9. This is what it ships in, and I bought this with a deal and a plan that, that GoPro has going on right now with a subscription plan on their website, and I'll talk about that a little later. But here is their here's the box that it ships in. Kind of opens kind of easy there. Very easy to open if you experience or purchase any GoPros in the past then you will know that some of the packages that came in were quite difficult to open up. But here we go. Pretty easy. Comes in this nice case. Unzip that. And there we go. Has subscribe to GoPro, which I did. Okay, kind of gives us a quick reference and provides any questions. So it has some material right like that for me to read and look at later. All right, and what is in the box? Comes with a cord for charging or transferring your media files. Has a battery. All right, and we got a couple of mounting couple of mounting pieces to mount and attach your GoPro and the GoPro Hero 9 so this one it comes with they made the upgrade and they have a front display screen which is pretty cool for vlogging video blogging taking selfies so that's a really cool add addition to their camera big nice display screen so what this new GoPro does, it shoots in 5K, 4K, 2.7K, 1440p, and 1080p. Now it is quite a big upgrade in the camera. It is 20 megapixels, where the Hero 8 is 12 megapixels. And this also comes in, the Hero 9 also has a super photo mode. Now unlike the other GoPro, unlike the Hero 8, this can be taken off this lens can be taken off and you can add a max lens mod which is available and it all offers a hyper smooth and even more stability and it maximizes your uh, super view gives you a wider angle now i didn't purchase that but that is something that i probably will be looking into purchasing in the future because if you like me, I do a lot of kayak fishing, uh, a lot of boat fishing, a lot of movement. So to give that extra hyper smoothness. Now this does have a hyper smooth. The Hero 9 has 3.0 hyper smooth and the Hero 2 has 2.0 hyper smooth. So this new Hero 9 offers something even smoother and more stable video imaging that you won't even need a gimbal from my understanding. So I'm gonna put it to the test and I'll let you know that information later if it's really as smooth as I would like. 
It also ha offers media mod, light mods, and display mods are also available. Now I did purchase the media mod, so I'm gonna open that here in a second. I did purchase the media mod for the nine. Now it offers eight times slow motion. The slow-mo gives you up to 240 frames per second. So that's awesome. Does a live stream in 1080p and you can also go up to 33 feet of water depth. So let's peel this off. Let's see this. Make that off. And where are we with that? Right here. Yeah, little tab to pull. Awesome. So like the Hero 8, it has the tabs down here so you can mount. Unlike the previous models, they came with it own with this with its own housing. So you can have your own case. But this one, you don't need it. You don't need a housing. Of course there's there's housings that you can buy. But you pull those tabs down and you can attach and mount this. Now the door on the side is similar to the door to the eight, but you can see right here just the different sizes. If you compare them. It is bigger. It is a little heavier than the eight. And then you can compare this to even the five. You can see how much bigger it has gotten to the five. So the cameras are getting a little bigger, a little bigger, a little heavier, but they're not, it's not real like noticeable as far as the weight goes, especially for us that wear the action hats or wear it mounted to you. You know, it's not, it's not a whole lot heavier, but let's see, let's open this door. It's empty in there, no SD card. So we're going to open it up anyway. All right. And the package deal that I bought, it did come with a 32 gig uh, SD card, but I am not worried about it. I have larger SD cards that I use with more gigs. So I didn't need to purchase one of those. I already had one, but I'm going to open it up and stick this SD card in it as well. Now we'll stick that battery back in there. So the battery on these are bigger. And that's going to give you more, hopefully that'll give you more longevity, give you more battery life. It should. Everything I read says it should. So let's see how much juice is in there. Get a little front end of the screen. English, like read the terms. Location, speed, altitude. Turn that on. Install GoPro app. We're going to get out of there. We're going to skip the setup and we'll come back to it. All right. So we have 22% battery life, which is good. I could just kind of roll through it and show you guys. I'm not going to get too much into the technical stuff as far as what this camera can or can't do. I just kind of want to just do a quick unboxing. But if you click right here on your, on your video selection, you can see it has different calibrations, different modes for your, your camera. So different selection has activity, cinematic, so that's 4.K, 30 frames per second. But there's a front facing camera so you can see yourself on what is going on when you're video blogging or if you're taking a selfie. Well, it's real easy to turn as you change it up, change the angle, the frame changes as well. So when I was talking about the battery size, the battery size has changed. It is a bigger battery and should be longer lasting battery as well. So you can see here a comparison between the 8 and the 9. There is it's bigger battery and much thicker battery as well. Sorry, I kind of framed that off. And much thicker battery as well. The GoPro Hero 5, the GoPro Hero 6, the GoPro Hero 7 will all fit and work with the 8 with the GoPro Hero 8 if you're in case you're in a pinch or in a bind. Now there's a lot of features on the GoPro Hero 8 that won't work if you put the 5. The Hyper Smooth won't work. There's other features that won't work with the Hero 8 if you're not using the proper, the correct battery. But there is no other option on the 9, obviously. 
All right, so like I said, I'm really excited about this camera. There's a lot of great functions that have been added to the GoPro here in I Black. Something that I am extremely excited about. One of the things is the forward-facing camera, the larger battery, bigger battery life. But there's also a few things that are that I didn't like about it. One, I don't like the fact that it, it is heavier. Now, I know there's no way around that. They pack a lot of stuff into these cameras. But that is the one thing that I don't like about it is that it is a little bit heavier. But it's going to get take your, It's going to take some getting used to, especially for me. I mount it on my hat with the action hat. But other than that, that's really the only downsize I see. Well... I take it back. There is another downsize I see or that I have with the GoPro Hero 9 Black and the GoPro Hero 8 Black is the fact that you have these tabs. So although that's very convenient for you, but when you slide this into the media mod, well, you run into an issue when you want to change the battery. You have to take everything completely off, close down the tab, slide out the media mod, and then change your battery out. And then you have to put it all back together and refix it and get that same angle again so that is the only downside was working and having these tabs is that you have to take your your camera completely and totally off and change your angle same thing as the media mod that's the downside i see with the media mod but that's for another that's for another time stay tuned for that the video coming out as well me over me looking at the media mod and walking through and doing an unboxing the media mod so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share hopefully next time you catch me hooking up Thanks.